short intro to tonight's vlog. I'll be out with Sir Stephen. <laughs> Someone's named him. My black, beautiful Labrador. Um, so Tony, let me tell you about Tony. So Tony was a lad, non-violent, non-sexual nature of a crime. He, for me, because he was a persistent repeat offender, a drug addict who lived on the streets, he was given a very harsh sentence of four years. He served two years. He was sent from prison to a bail hostel in Bury. If I could remember it, I would name it. So all the lads that went there breached. It was a horrible place. These bail hostels, uh, you've got to understand, must be difficult working there. I'm not saying that, but you get people in there who, for me, abuse their power. If someone's in a bail hostel, you should be doing the very best you know, to manage them till they are released from that hostel. Yeah, that don't mean, you know, uh, grassing them up for minor offences. So Tony was in a room, he was quite settled in a bail hostel, and then they got a new manager. So this manager visited him and said, Tony, we'd like to move rooms. So he said, no problem. This is a lad who's already served two years and he's got two year license, which is to finish in the community. He said, no problem. They moved him into a room. He took his stuff, he got in the room and there was a broken socket, yeah? So he reported it, he reported it to the manager. The room you just put me in has got a broken socket. Yeah, no problem, Tony. I'll speak to you later. Three days later, police turn up and he's breached and sent back to prison. Landed back in Strangeways where I worked. Um, he could have been back in three months and released, but he did the full two years. His paperwork actually said that he damaged the property, which was a broken socket. He denied he did that, but is that really a, a reason to keep someone inside for two years? Yeah, just bear that in mind. There's lots of people like him, breached for nothing. Alcoholics taking a drink and sent back to prison. Addicts using drugs and sent back to prison. We should be doing everything we can to keep these people out. Yeah, prisons are full. Probably 80% of prisoners, you know, are, I don't know. There's something else we could be doing with people. There really is. I'm just gonna leave it there, guys. Um, Capital Punishment, Friday, I've got a vlog. I'll see you. I'll do. So here's the thing about parole. Parole's about risk. If you're on a parole sentence, you get to the halfway point, yeah, it's about risk, you know. What have you done to lower that risk? Uh, everything's presented, probation, inside, out. People sit down, they review, have a look at you, and decide, risk. Just remember that, all about risk. In it, Stevie? It's about risk, kid. So, Paul Gad, Gary Glitter. Yeah? These people, for me, and probably everyone who spoke about this, every criminologist in the world, psychologist, psychiatrist, everyone else, people who work with these people, people who are devoted to life studying these people will tell you somebody like him gad is always going to be a risk to the public more importantly children see for me now i'm 50 meters away from a park if gad got out and i was he here that's it he'd be back inside and he won't be getting out in america they give out proper sentences however his victims you know they probably thought he got a proper sentence you got 16 years. I'm just gonna sit me send down by yon tree. He got a proper sentence, he got 16 years. So imagine you're in court, you're one of his victims. He's got 16 years. And then you find out that that's actually a parole sentence. Yeah? And you actually find out that he only has to serve half which he did. So he got out of prison, a lot of outcry, victims, you know, everybody else, police, everyone was aghast that he got out. 
He's out a short period of time, less than six months, and he breaches his license. Straight back inside, and rightly so. And he can be made to finish his eight years. Yeah? So he's back inside, been in six months, and it's in the press that the parole board have announced in the autumn, which is coming soon, it's gonna be a parole board for Gad. Again, first point, point and fact, is lads and lasses in the prison service, well, particularly lads I know, who have sat over 12 months, 18 months, some two years waiting for parole, yeah? And they're still waiting now. People are getting knocked back for parole. But here we have a serious paedophile, a sex offender, someone who's always, always gonna be a risk, always being given another chance after a very short period of time. Why is that? I'd love to see inside his safe. If he has got one of the pictures, you know, we've got prime ministers, who or what has he got over somebody? Because here's the other thing you see, if you're a person who sits on parole boards or probation, or anybody who has to do with Gad's parole board, and you're gonna give him another chance, and you let him out, that's blood on your hands, yeah? It quite definitely is. So let's have a look what he's done back inside. You've locked him back up because he was a risk. Yeah, what's he done inside? Hey, has he taken a GCSE? So now he's not a paedophile, he's not a risk. Has he been chemically castrated? Has he been physically castrated? No, none of them. And again, if you look at America, where all the research lies, they have chemically castrated paedophiles. They've been asked to be chemically castrated and them urges don't go away. They are still a risk. Has he had a full frontal lobotomy? Yeah, brain surgery? No. He is not curable like others, but he's gonna be given another chance. So the victims are on a roller coaster again, and it'll be all over the press. And what's the bets that he gets given another chance? I'm just gonna leave it there, guys. Um, I will be posting content on Friday. I've got an interview Sunday. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone who supports the channel. Everybody who drops a comment, everyone who subscribed from the latest to my first subscribers, everyone who's been interviewed on the channel, guests, past, present and future. I'd like to thank everyone for your continued support, which is all very much appreciated. Parting shot, Gad, yeah should never be released. Thanks for coming, Al Siddiq.